I, I think that there has always um, been anger in, yeah. um, and when people are oppressed and uh, are exploited uh, and discriminated against. Mm -hmm. The difference that in, uh, in the past civil rights movement, uh, that anger w was mediated by uh, love. It was a mediation of, yes. of, of love. Uh, Dr. King, when 63, when the four the girls in Birmingham were uh, bombed and killed, yeah. um, it, it was a setback with us, and, and it took a, uh, it, it just threw an almost a knockout punch yeah. uh, to us, you know, in Sunday school. Uh, for the girls bombed by the clan. And for those, for those that don't know that, yes. four girls, am I right? Well, my yes, memory, yes. And one was even decapitated uh, by yes. it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great tragedy. Killed in Sunday school. And, and the immediate response of the, the uh, community was yeah. to express that anger. Yes. But Dr. King, with the nonviolent direct action and the philosophy of... Uh, that took place was able to understand that we we need power, but power need to be mediated always by love, mm. and and that to transform that anger into righteous anger, and there's a difference between because a righteous a holy anger is anger that is going to not be vindictive. Yeah but it's going to try to achieve a goal. And that goal is to continue to push the movement and to push justice, uh, but do it in a manner that which will achieve what winning your opponent over and what uh, transforming the American culture mm -hmm. and bringing an end to Jim Crow and segregation. Wow. And so it, it, it was a, the leadership understood that at the end of the day, as my brother uh, spoke about the uh, um, truth and reconciliation in South Africa, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the goal has to be that to realize that Oh, if we're going to continue to exist, if we're going to continue to be a community and nation, we must come together at a common table mm. and with a common place yeah. and a common vision. And for Dr. King and the lieutenants, that was in terms of the creation of the beloved community mm -hmm. as a, a way of saying that... Uh, the kingdom of God is manifesting itself in this interim. Yeah. In the beloved community. Yes. Mm, the beloved community sounds a lot better than Twitter, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for that. Brian but, and, yeah. But I want to say this there's a positive thing and a negative thing about social media. The positive thing is that we had to hand out leaflets in front of our leaflets in front door to the <laughs> so, 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 you know, back then, you, you know, you had to do it. But, uh, but it created relationships because you had to talk to people face to face wow. and organizing. You had to wow. persuade people face-to-face -face organizing wow. and, it, and it be a relationship and they and so you're able to uh touch more people now through social mm -hmm. media but at the end of the day i believe this as a professional organizer in the movement that you're still gonna have to do some relational building yeah. if you're going to have continuity uh, with issues of justice and the creation of beloved community. <laughs>